Vermeer is the ultimate enigma. He created some of the world's most treasured paintings, including The Girl with a Pearl Earring. But we know very little about him. In fact, for two centuries, his masterpieces were largely forgotten. But an intrepid French explorer in the 19th century managed to hunt them down in hidden locations, where they'd been scattered across Europe. You don't hear people making these pilgrimages for most artists. And what is it about Vermeer that encourages this need? Slowly but surely, Vermeer came to be appreciated for the artistic genius that he was. Vermeer is one of the most enigmatic Dutch artists of the 17th century. Once you see a Vermeer, you never forget it. And you never forget where you saw it. However, the process of reclaiming his paintings has been fraught with peril. One of the most successful forgers of all time, Han van Meegren, managed to fool the experts for years with his collection of fake Vermeers. His trial was a media sensation that rocked the art world. It seems astonishing to us now that we were fooled by the Van Meegren fakes. It's wishful thinking. You really want a painting to be Vermeer. If you just want it, you know, it will be. He was just a brilliant you know, psychologist, and he understood that scholars would think, we've always been expecting to find these, and here they are. There are very few genuine Vermeers around and many have been lost to us once again, being stolen by members of the IRA and the Boston mob. It would appear that they were very selective in what they took. Even Adolf Hitler and Hermann Goering were looking to get their hands on Vermeers by whatever means necessary. Hitler managed to get a hold of two. Goering was sold a fake, made by Van Meegren. The forgeries have made life difficult when it comes to the work of the Dutch master. If you would discover a genuine Vermeer, it would make your day. But you have to be really careful. It's been an epic struggle to reclaim the works of Johannes Vermeer from their hidden locations and from the thieves that took them. That struggle continues today.